Oh, God, I should be crazed. It's nice to sit down. Hi, Aloy. Decided to do some shopping. Goodbye for now. And good luck in the proving. I shouldn't have another. Should I? No. Oh, uh, go on then. to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's Listen just what you want, now. isn't it? For me to fall on my you head! Have to tell what I want I'm is for you People to climb say the down! Festival is better what last you year, want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will! Aloy, over here! Karst? What are you doing here? I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. the yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold of the your fruit, nor, oh. nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He's a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 
14th luminance of the Radiant Line. People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, unknown device detected. Perhaps the car just come to make a mess. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apology. Function. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Would we'll take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. 
So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. And if that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Hard to faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What will they do now? I won't let the Hard to faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What will they do now? Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends. Have you denied them the chance? Blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters, aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. child but a mother's hope that takes flight a glowing flame that climbs the air set free to the wind sailing the sky till it fades and falls so from one to another passes the chain of love I won't let the cards There's stop Olin. me from enjoying the festival. I have some questions oh, for him. Do now. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. Not 
my circumstances are that I'm here to win the proving, not stand around muttering Nora prayers and lighting Nora prayer lanterns. Of course. Though, it pains me that your years of isolation from the tribe have spoiled what is for us a ritual of great beauty. Maybe isolation has given me the clearer view. A concern for results, not rituals. Whatever your view, it is yours, and I will respect it. I imagine you must have questions. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy, but Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Strong. Blood of a war chief in her. You were brave to come, girl. Enjoy the festivities. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me, that's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> of course Voss is gonna win. Just look at him. I won't let the car to think...
Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. Your... your very presence here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? Me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest.
Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Looks like a grazer. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. Release. I can't see! Fox! So follow that. Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Made it. Come on now. Hurry. Keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! Ah! Fire. The, the 
can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Bass! Bass! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Oh, oh. 
Dying. <gasps> Configure there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Matriarchs are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. 
The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. There, with the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. 